Hey guys, it's the Villaman here, home theater enthusiast and lover of all things tech. And a lot of us have multi-purpose media rooms where we need it to be light control when we're watching movies and for it to be bright when we're just, you know, go around living life, enjoying our space. So the question is, what's the best way to actually do that? And smart wings think they have the best way to achieve that with their smart blinds. This is the review. Stick around. Now their window treatments come in several designs from roller shades to cellular shades to zebra designs, woven wood shades, outdoor versions, as well as dual roller shades, which is what I have. Now each of these have different levels of light filtering from minimal to complete blackout. And I chose the roller shades for both minimal shades as well as blackout, depending on what's going on in my space. Now the window treatments come in both different designs and colors as well as different light filtering ability from light filtering to complete blackout. Now the ones that SmartRing sent over for this room is their dual shade version which has a 50% light filtering as well as a complete blackout section so I can control each of those individually but we'll get to that in a sec. The shades are individually packaged in their own boxes and has a label on the box to help identify which one is which. There's also a separate box with the accessories like the mountain fixtures as well as the remote if you ordered one. Now when ordering these shades what you'll need to know is of course the size of your window as well as how you plan to mount it whether it be internal like I have or an external mount where it protrudes into the room. On their site you can select the size of your window in inches and refine that measurement in 1 8 inch increments. Then you can choose what kind of motor you want. There's the standard version which is free at no additional cost I should say but then this shade really gets powerful when you incorporate it with your smart home ecosystem. So there are different versions of the motors available for different ecosystems. There's a Zigbee motor and Alexa motor, a Z-Wave Plus motor, a HomeKit version, as well as a Mata version, which is the one I have in this room. Now installation of these blinds are really simple. All you have to do is use the included mounting brackets to mark the holes on your window frame where you need to use a screw to secure the mounting brackets to the window frame. Because of my window design, I made sure that the brackets were as far back as they could be. Then you also need to install the mount for the front cassette cover trim piece. After that, it was just a matter of installing the shades by letting them click into place. So each of the smart blinds are able to be controlled with a smart wings remote which you can order separately but this is not how you get the most out of these blinds like i mentioned earlier pairing them with your smart home ecosystem is where they truly become powerful and i paired mine with HomeKit. Now if you're not aware, Matter is the new smart home standard which is platform agnostic, meaning that it supports all the smart home platforms from Alexa to Google to HomeKit and I'm using mine with HomeKit but to do that you'll need a HomeKit bridge which in the case of the Apple ecosystem is either the newest version of the Apple TV 4K or a HomePod. I have both so it didn't really matter. You don't have to do the setup of these devices individually, but the ecosystem needs them to communicate as the middleman with the matter devices for any matter device, whether it be smart shades or lights, for example. So now that we've gone through the setup, I can tell you just what my experience is and my thoughts about using the smart blinds. So as you may know, I review TVs and other displays. And since I have four huge windows in this room, typically if I need a dark room to do any tests or record a video like this, for example, I have to go through each window and close them individually. I mean, people do that every day and don't really think twice about it. It's just one of those things, one of your routines. But having the smart blinds has completely changed the way I use my blinds and made them a lot more accommodating to my actual life. So for example, I can now create scenes on my phone that are triggered whenever a certain time of day happens or whether I do that manually. For example, if I'm recording, I have a scene that's 
called recording so I tap that and all my shades come down and the lights that can also turn on the lights behind me can also turn on if I want them to I mean people open and close their blinds every day without giving it much of a thought but having smart blinds has really made it's more more convenient than just more flexible but after i'm finished i have another scene called back to normal where it opens all my blinds to my preferred position so all the blackout shades are opened the light filtering ones stay closed but for another window my dog likes to lay there and look out in the daytime so that window opens the light filtering shades halfway so he has space to look out that all happens automatically at just a single tap of a button. So as I said, it gets really convenient. And since the OLED TV behind me supports HomeKit, I can also integrate that into my smart scenes, for example. So when I turn the TV on in the daytime, the blackout shades will close so that there is no glare hitting the TV screen while I'm watching. And once I turn the TV off, the blackout shades go back to their open position. And I've set it so this automation only happens during the daytime. So if I turn the TV off at nighttime, for example, the blackout shades won't open if I have them closed. And speaking of which, I have an automation where at sunset, the blinds close automatically and they open again at sunrise, leaving all the light filtering shades closed except for the one for my dog, of course. That one stays open unless my dog starts barking at a delivery man or something, which I can then use voice control to say, hey Siri, close the dog blinds and it's closed. Again, really convenient. The solar chargers that SmartWing sent over has adhesive on the side so you can attach it to your window. And I've attached them to the windows on the side of the house, but the ones in the front, I haven't because I don't quite like how they look from the outside. That of course all depends on personal taste, so you may think differently, but for the shades up front, I use the included USB-C cable to charge them. It has a USB-C charging port as well as a function button and a status light all on the shades. So you can use it to pair the shade with your smartphone platform or reset the shades if you need to. You can also get really creative with the automations that you create as well. For example, I have another automation where if the room temperature gets above 74 degrees in the daytime, the blackout shades automatically close to minimize the amount of heat coming in the room from the sun. That's just another example of how flexible the smart wings shades are since they can integrate into your smartphone platform. The material also feels very thick, not flimsy at all, like they're designed to last a while. So that is good to know. Both shades, but the blackout shade is a bit more sturdy than the light filtering one, of course, since light has to pass through the other one. So what don't I like about these shades? Well, initially I had some issue pairing it with my Apple Home Kit. And this was not the fault of the shades at all, actually. This was actually a matter issue. So the shades just wouldn't be paired with my Apple Home Kit. I had to create another home to actually have it pair and work as it should. Again, that wasn't the fault of the shades. It was a matter compatibility issue, at least with my specific home. And I found some people online having similar issues, but I found a workaround by creating another home in my platform. Smart Rings also has technical support who can help you through connectivity issues like those too. This next one isn't much of a con, but more of an FYI because I chose the inside mount shades then at the edges of the shades where it meets the window you can see the light sliver coming in and although this isn't much of a big deal uh it exists so if you want to eliminate things like that then an external mount would be the better option so that little bit of light does not come through but as it is it doesn't really bother me it's not really much light coming into the room anyways but yeah, I don't really have much that I don't like about these blinds. Maybe the price, because they are certainly not cheap, but I do believe that you get what you pay for. They're actually one of the more affordable options for smart blinds. So the question is, would I recommend these and would I buy them myself? Well, yes, I would recommend these. And two, 
I actually have bought them myself. I bought the HomeKit version for my living room before SmartWings even sent me this version. So I reviewed these versions because I have a lot of experience with it and I like how they work. I like their integration and they just look really good. I will say though, for the HomeKit version, at least the one I have, there is about maybe once a year when one specific blind loses connection to my home kit so i have to reset it and repair it but that's the only issue i've had with the blinds after a year of using it so yeah i would definitely recommend these but who are they for well if you have a living space whether it be a media room or a living room that you want to be light controlled and you want to do that seamlessly and even automatically given either the time of day or an activity that you're engaged in, then these are a no-brainer option. I really do think so. I've left links in the description if you want to check out some more details or buy them yourself because these are, of course, custom lines, custom window treatments for your windows. Also, share your thoughts in the comments on whether you'd use smart blinds in your room or if you have already. Don't forget to like the video and of course subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching and until next time, this has been your friendly neighborhood villa man saying be safe and peace.